kindergarten. Today we're going to talk about poetry and um, we're going to talk about something called mental images. A mental image is something that you can imagine in your mind or picture in your mind. Writers use words that help us imagine what they're saying so that when we hear their description of something, we can imagine what it looks like in our mind. So let's try one. Close your eyes and let's picture a silly monkey with a birthday hat. All right, go. Ooh, can you picture it in your mind? I see one. All right, open your eyes. I hope you all saw the monkey I did. My monkey was wearing a red and blue birthday hat and he looked like he was turning three years old. Maybe that's what I imagined. Well, let's try another one. Close your eyes and imagine that you are jumping really high on a big trampoline. Whoa, I can almost feel it. Up and down, oh, don't fall off. Okay, open your eyes. And that's what we call a mental image, a, a picture that you can imagine in your mind. So today I wanna to read this poem to you by Jack Perletsky, and the title of the poem is, There Are Zebras on the Ceiling. Well, you can imagine that with your mental image right now if you want to. All right, listen carefully. There are zebras on the ceiling dancing upside down ballet. A giraffe is in the foyer and it will not go away. There's a chicken in the kitchen playing checkers with a quail. And a turtle's running races with a very speedy snail. My father's growing feathers and my mother's 10 feet tall. Oh my goodness, I can see that. A weasel and a wallaby are whistling on the wall. The cheese has turned to butter and the butter has turned to bread. The tub is full of buzzards and a bear is in my bed. The furniture is shrinking and the den has disappeared. My sister's sprouting antlers and the puppy has a beard. What? A marmoset is marching with a mallard and a mouse. It's just another normal Monday. I just love it at our house. Wow. There were a lot of things in this poem by Jack Perletsky that you could imagine in your mind. And today, one of your assignments is going to be to draw a picture of one of these things that you imagined. So have an adult read the poem to you again. Circle the part that you could really picture in your mind. And then there's a space on the paper for you to draw a picture of it. So have fun with it. Read it, read it a lot and a lot of times over and over so that you can really picture what Jack Proletsky was talking about. Have fun with it and you guys do a good job. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.